Hello again, friends, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. I am Seed Hero, and today we are just getting ready to pick our first starter before we go out and take the Survey Corps test. Um, I put a lot of a lot of basic thought into which starter I wanted. Normally, I pick Fire. However, going with the Tag Seed Hero, I think there's only one real option. We're going to be taking our Leaf Bird friend, Rowlet. Oh, I forgot how amazing our Fanny Pack looks. And with that, one of the Pokémon you caught at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've tucked Rowlet back inside its Pokeball for you, so take it. It's yours. It almost looks wooden. Are Pokeballs wooden in the past? Word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. They look as if they're cheering on their friend Rowlet. Oh, perhaps they're jealous that it gets to help you with your trial. Maybe you should just give me all three. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Seed fell out from when Seed fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. Oh, they look actually excited about that. By the way. What species has Captain Siling charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. I believe it was Starly, Sphinx, or Shinx, and... I do not remember the last one. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this tri trial cleared in no time. Guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Then turn left after you exit headquarters, then head for the gate. Yes, ma'am. That's where we're going. Oh yeah, look at the Pokeballs in the bottom right. They really do look wooden. Let's exit swap. Oh, wow! That's kind of cool. So we really do have to pay attention to which Pokeballs we're, we're uh, chucking around. Okay. Exit! Head left. We've no food for freeloaders. Survival out here is a daily battle, you know. God, you guys, I'm like 10 years old. Can you please just... Just a little bit of food. Never seen clothes quite like yours, huh? Where might they be from? Uh... Are we just not going to answer anybody? From from America. They're from America. I got them at Target. In the kids section. Because I'm 10. Feed me somebody. Like your hat. Pokemon terrify me. Even going out to gather berries is the worst. The item storage. Is that the same chest? That we have in our, uh, in our, in our home? Maybe. I bet it's the same group of stuff. Does this person have an eye patch or weird hair? That's weird hair, never mind. Is this a boy or a girl? I don't even know. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I am quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild. The go-to choice for any mercantile needs here in Hisui. I've heard talk about you. you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is a key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Yeah. I've got a grass bird. 
I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you two attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokémon's HP reaches zero. Volo challenges you. I thought he was gonna do the uh, the hair backwards or the hat backwards thing. Okay, so how do battles work? Oh shoot! Fight! Give him, give him the win. Okay, so we are still turn based. This is kind of cool though. I love that we can run around. I, like, I cannot interact with either of them. We're a little we're a little lacking in options right now, but luckily we got some strong winds. We can just gust things to death. Excuse me. We can gust things to unconsciousness. Moves, items. Use them well and the world will open up to you. Oh, that was a really nice, like, little animation. And sound effect. It's always good fun to have your Pokémon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokémon sometimes learn moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokémon can use in battle, Open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select the Change Moves option. But so few people have have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. They have to learn how to catch them too, and not be scared. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise. And to you, my Skyfallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. This fellow is a terrible merchant. Topical medicine. Okay, 60 HP. Cool. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. I find it interesting that they've, they've rebalanced everything. Um, our level 5 had, what, like 60-some HP? That is a lot of HP for a low-level Pokémon. That's really something! Not only can you catch Pokémon, you can lead them in battle! Now, to the Obsidian Fieldlands! When you're leaving Jubilife Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map, and tell Rest the Guardsman where you're going. That way, someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokémon. Your trial begins just a short way past that front gate. Alright, do we gotta tell this guy? You're a seed hero, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. The trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Everyone's so nonchalant about... My ten-year-old ass going out, putting my life in danger here. We are going to the Fieldlands camp. This is our base camp. The last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokémon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. You ready to get started? Oh, Professor, something wrong? Well, you see, Captain Sirling got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our unsparing Captain. What help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Seed's talents are the real deal. You'll pass with flying colors. You'll see. That's why you're out here. So the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me, then. Well, I'm sure Seed will be just fine. 
Let's begin the trial. All right, we're gonna go catch us some Bidoof. After another cutscene. This is Aspiration Hill, the species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. That's very convenient for us. And along comes a Bidoof. Time to get ready to catch. Do we have to like, do we have to fight it? Or are we just throwing Pokeballs at things now? The key is to aim carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Hold down the ZL button to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep it in your sights as long as it's nearby. This technique comes in very useful when aiming Pokeballs at a target or when dodging Pokemon's attacks. So they can attack us too. Bidoof has a mellow disposition. That means it tends to not to run away from people. So this will be easy. She says that right after everyone's been saying how impossible it is to catch three Pokemon. Can I... Oh, I do have to hold. Can I just... Can I just tuck it? Oh, okay. You caught a Bidoof! Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. We're going. We need... We need to catch the Starly. We gotta double our, uh... We gotta double our bird Pokemon count. One bird is not enough. There's a Starly. They're skittish little things. They'll run if startled. Does that mean I gotta sneak? Should be able to get close to them if you crouch. It'll be harder to spot. Press the B button to crouch to make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button again to rise. If you creep into tall grass while crouched low, you'll be even harder for wild Pokemon to detect. Pokemon Metal Gear Solid Edition. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. And got it. It's Starly caught as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. Are they really? Oh, hey, look at that. Look at that. Give me. Give me the fruits. I forgot, there's something I ought to teach you since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Silene tells us, Have an item at the ready, but want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but want to throw out an item? Press X. The Captain's a real expert on these things. Try throwing your Pokemon's ball at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. So you don't investigate, but you can throw your Pokémon to do it for you. Interesting. If your Pokémon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partner... Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached your final hurdle. Catching a Shinx. Hold on. Hold on. We have a Rowlet. Oops. Good job, Rowlet. You sure you know where you're going? I'm getting fruit. I got a whole family to feed on my belt right now. Does they actually show? I don't think so. There, that's Shinx. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? Nope. All Pokemon are very sweet. Not to worry. These things become clear once you focus on the Pokémon around you. Once aggressive Pokémon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball you throw at them. 
and use the ZL button to focus on a Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. The more arrows you see pointing up above the Pokemon, it'll be easier to catch. An X icon will appear above a Pokemon if it has picked a fight with you. Be warned, a Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Don't worry though, I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You gotta battle them, you gotta fight them. Once they're absorbed with battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them to try to catch them. By now you've got several Pokemon at your, of your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon if you want to battle. I've got no doubt you'll hold your own in battle. It's easy to start a battle against wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your own Pokemon at it. If you can see that... If you can see that you currently have an item ready to throw, not a Pokemon, press the X button. It will allow you to toggle between your thrown items and your Pokemon team. Oh, wow, he noticed us from that far away. All right, Rowlet, we'll get him. Uh, what is Leafage? Uh, user to... There... Whatever, it's effective. It's fine. How do we... Throw the Pokeball. Yup. Simple. We just had to teach it a quick lesson. You approach those Pokemon without a hint of fear. You caught each one. You're like a gift the sky dropped to us. With you at our side, I think the Survey Corps really has, has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've been ordered. This is wonderful! I'm still curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did, but for now, let's tell the Professor we're ready to head back. I'm curious what she meant by uh, completing the Pokedex like they've been ordered. Who ordered them? What ordered them? Is this another Arceus thing? Is there some sinister plot behind filling a Pokedex? Oh, oh, I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Seed. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokémon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. Oh my god, you had to... You had to get my fanny pack in the, in the picture, Professor? With skills like yours, I suppose this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Silene. Time to head back to Jubilife Village, eh? Look at her shoes. Ridiculous. In time, you'll be able to send Pokémon you've caught to live in the village pastures. You can bring up to six Pokémon with you into the field, in theory. No, we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. <laughs> I've got- I got four! You guys, I've been here- I've been here for less than an hour and I have four Pokémon. Come now, you two, let's not dilly-dally. Captain Silene awaits our report back at headquarters. I bet Captain Silene will be very pleased. Alright. What do we what do we got? Oran berries, cherry berry? We got a cherry berry? Let's go report. Show her our show her our haul. I really want to catch her Abra, though. Right in front of her. Seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. God, these people are heartless. This place is metal. Congratulations. You've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I don't want to hold on to this satchel. <laughs> I must admit you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours. 
the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Oh, we got Survey Corps sandals, hell yeah. Get changed in the room you used last night. Then you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Can we, can we talk to people? Baggin? Your name is Baggin? Commander Kamada's office is on the third floor. Keep up the good work, new kid. When you're ready to get into your uniform, make sure to use the mirror in your quarters. Yes, ma'am. We're going. Go change into our new sandals. Excuse me, ma'am. I got new sandals. Oh, you're gonna see my new outfit soon. I bet I look handsome AF. Where that, where's that mirror that doesn't shine back at me? Here we are. Change that outfit. Yup. Put on that uniform. Oh, look at all these options. Ooh, I like it. I like it. That scarf. That scarf is, uh... <laughs> we have... We have, um... Uh, our friends... Our friends kick-ass sandals, too. I don't remember her name. I'll remember it eventually. Yeah, I want to go with this outfit. Do we ejected out of Pokemon and straight into Naruto. Look how well our Survey Corps uniform suits you. Almost as if the captain had it tailored just for you. I know. I know. Look out, ladies. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. That's great news, because I just changed in there, too. I got a dirty shirt and underwear sitting on that bed. You may wear this as well. Where are, you, where are you giving me? Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No. Oh, don't smile. Now present yourself to the command. Can I... Can we go back to the mirror and take this off? Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. Alright, God, I hope people don't judge me. What's in here? Anything? Oh, it's an Eevee! My Eevee now. Is that your Eevee? Maybe we ought to build some spare lodging in case anyone else falls out of the sky. God, I hope not. I like being special. Hello, sir. Mr. Kichi. Brave new land we're living in, which means there's a whole lot to do. That is an interesting take on things, sir. How do I go upstairs? Oh. By using the stairs. Thank you. I found them. Hey. Really? You've got a third floor just for your office, sir? You must be very important. Oh, that mustache? He's definitely important. Mustache, those sideburns? He's very careful not to let them actually connect. I have been waiting for you. Oh, he doesn't even put his arms through the sleeves of his jacket. What a badass. You'll, you'll notice he is not wearing a fedora. Or a beret, whatever the hell we're wearing. He is not wearing one because he's actually a badass. Nobody forced him to wear anything. This guy's wearing things on his own terms. Because he is Kamado. Commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. 
Hmm, so you are Seed Hero. Y yes, sir. Take off that silly hat, boy. Mm hmm. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. I thought he was I thought he was asking for a for a bear hug. Squeeze me as tight as you can. This is your first challenge. Face it head on. <laughs> the, the charge at him. Trying to throw him? Oh, he, they, he does mean... Well... Um, yeah, we're gonna try to throw him. Yeah. Did we get launched? Oh, you're damn right we did. Hmm, you've got some fight in you. I thought he meant a Pokemon battle. Your sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. I fell out of the black, bro. That was it's kind of a black hole. Time space, time space rift. Superstitious among us might see your arrival as a port a portent? Of disaster. Not only is he brawn and beauty, but he's also brains. I don't know what that word means. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilife Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Seed Hero. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. I've caught four whole Pokemon in my years as commander. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more you add to the Pokédex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokédex will also, of course, bring you closer toward that goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokémon. Here, you'll need this. You obtained a recipe for crafting Pokeballs. I'm so curious. An apricorn and a tumble stone? Okay. And 3,000 dollaroos as well. You'll have to buy the necessary materials. Thank you, ma'am. Akari, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Of course, Captain Silene. Now, as the experienced craftsperson here, let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiency is worth striving for. You can even make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. Think where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Girl, that's literally the only thing I can make. Let's head to the Craftworks. The Craftworks? Do we have to go... Oh, we actually go there. We can't craft on the field. That's what I, that's what I assumed we were doing. Meaning if we run out of Pokeballs on the field, we still have to run home. Well... Done earning a place on our team. My name is... Oh. Oh, it's you! What up, girl? My name is Anthony. I'm a local clothier. Professor asked that I ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. I love her kimono. You received an everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail yourself to the village's humble shops.
girl. Twinsies, look at our outfits. This way to the craft work seed. Where are we going? I'm going. Oh, is this guy the guy that wouldn't actually... He wouldn't talk to us last episode. He wouldn't help. He didn't care. I saw a struggling ten-year-old and decided, decided to just leave me to my own devices. Leave me to my own struggles. You can use the workbench here at the Craftworks anytime you need to make an item in the village. And I'll supply what you need to make your first Pokeballs once you're ready to begin. Call it my way of saying congratulations on joining us. Just spend the money you got from the captain on clothes, or whatever you think is best. Go up to the workbench and choose an item to craft, in this case, a Pokeball. You can use the workbenches in Jubilee Village and the base camps to craft Pokeballs and other items. Crafting items requires a recipe and the necessary materials. Alright, what, what do we got? Yep, I was correct. Literally the only thing we can make. Other items, healing items. Okay. Let's make us a Pokeball. How many do we want? Let's make three. That'll put us at 20 Pokeballs. That seems like a good number to good number to maintain. Guys, we did it. We did it. We made a Pokeball with our own two hands. All these years we've wondered how to create them. How are they made? How the hell are Pokeballs made? What are they made out of? What kind of special magical properties do they have? Turns out absolutely nothing. It's what, an apricorn and a and a tumble stone? You just knock that shit together and it's there you go, you can catch you can catch monsters. Shrink them down to size, put them on your belt, make them fight for you. Oh, oh now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this is your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. You'll recall, of course, that Pokémon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With the Pokéballs we craft, you can make use of that power to catch them. Also that more Pokémon species can be duly recorded in a Pokédex. On that note, here you are. Give me that Pokédex. Volume for compiling the collected results of much Pokemon research. Professor Laventon continually adds to it with each report made on a new Pokemon species. He has continually added to it, but we only have seven Pokemon seen. Beautiful. Got my work cut out for me. Newly discovered. Oh my god, they all just say newly discovered. Oh, not all of them. Only the ones that are newly discovered. <laughs> Catch one and report back to the professor. Soon. Very soon. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokémon there are in this grand region. You'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokédex. Same goes for me, of course. I've also got Pokémon to research, as a Survey Corps member. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands Camp whenever you're ready, my good seed. Hey, excuse me, I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands Camp, would you mind taking a request for me? Taking care of a request for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post, but I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk about it. Bro, I'm, I'm here. Talk. Just talk to me. If people have something to ask you, will have a request icon that's displayed above them. If you fulfill the request, you may receive a nice reward. Alright, guys. This, uh, this is a great place to wrap up. Uh, thank you so much for dropping by and hanging out with me for Pokemon Legends. Uh, if you had fun, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out a new channel like mine. I am Seed Hero, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.